your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. 48's Umbrella a Week giveaway is sponsored by Mr. Rooter, your locally owned expert plumbers for over 34 years. Perfect weather out there, no rain delays, anything like that. It's 81 degrees in the shoals. Got some fair weather cumulus there. We were covered up with a little more cloud cover than I thought we would be today, and that's why we're at 81 instead of 87 right now. Coming up this weekend, it will get hotter, but we've also got something cool for the kids out there. 48 Storm Tracker will be out there for the uh, the STEM inspired activities and uh, we're looking at early works here for Tinkerfest Again, this Saturday begins at nine o'clock in the morning. There's going to be lots for the kids to do and outside it's going to be hot. So overall 90 degrees no matter what you're doing. Hope you can uh, meet the storm team out there. We will be out there again at early works in Huntsville uh, beginning at nine o'clock in the morning this Saturday. Here's your forecast for the rest of the weekend. Sunday first day of fall officially kicks off ranks. I think at 744 AM. It's going to be a little warmer in the morning hours. We're going to notice the humidity getting a little bit higher as we get into next week, and hopefully a front will come in and cool us off and maybe bring us around to rain uh, by the middle of next week. But right now, there's a long way out before we have any chance of rain. This area of low pressure was once uh, considered to be a potential tropical cyclone, but now what's left of it is moving back to the east, and it's just probably going to fizzle out over the Carolinas, delivering more rain here, and for some of them, cooler temperatures and more clouds. It actually cooled us off today day as well with those clouds as we look a little farther to the west pretty quiet. High pressure is going to be building into the area. The next thing we're going to be looking at down the road, and we're talking a week from today, could be a potential tropical storm or a hurricane making its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So the National Hurricane Center watching this area here for 20% development over the next seven days. I think that will gradually increase. Social media is kind of blowing up on this because the model guidance is uh, putting this into Florida, at least the GFS is. The European model pushes it into Mexico. We have no idea where this is going, so don't look at that cancel your plans and say, well, they're going to get a hurricane in Florida in a week from today because it doesn't work that way, but it's a possibility that may happen in the long run, but right now I wouldn't cancel any plans. Here's your Thursday forecast. Speaking of not canceling any plans, it's going to be beautiful. A warm day, though, if you're working outside, make sure you are drinking plenty of water. Stay hydrated because the heat could get you. Temperatures start off the day nice and comfortable 63 degrees or so on average 64 over in Fort Payne. As we get the day going, the drier air, a light north wind, it warms up very quickly and full blown sunshine out there. That'll do a number on you if you're working in the sun. So make sure you're taking those precautions. Temperatures low 80s by 11 o'clock. We're going to warm up though into the mid and upper 80s by the end of the day and we'll continue to see this trend right on into the weekend. So not much of a breeze to cool you off. Here's your forecast though. Over the next 10 days, we slowly get back up to 90 Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sunday. And then Monday, uh, all eyes may be on a cold front that's coming in by Wednesday of next week. But again, we will be watching the tropics then as well. So hopefully some cooler weather and some rain on the way late next week. Police officer.